What's up, everybody? It is Friday, July 21st. Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Before we jump into the alerts, just want to make sure you guys are up to speed on what we got going on over here. Uh, if you haven't seen, we've got our new ebook released and it is awesome. And, the, and that's not me patting myself on the back. We had a lot of people working on this and I think it's going to be an awesome, awesome thing for, for you guys, especially for newer traders. Uh, but uh, if, if you want to check it out, it, it, you can just go to the website or if you're in your members area, just go to premium upgrades and you can click on it right here and that'll take you to the description page and all the stuff that's in it. It's got 19 bulletproof strategies to trade in any market. And it really the way that I envision this as is as a guide. And I'll show you inside just here in a second. But it's only 49 bucks. We put a ton of time, a ton of effort in this. It's worth way more than that. But uh, we want to make sure it's affordable, especially for newer traders. So you can get it for $49 by itself. Or if you buy any of our premium courses, uh, you can get it for free. So if you don't have any of the strategy courses, any of these here, and you might want to buy one of those, uh, you can do that and we will include the ebook for free. And by the way, I'll give you a discount code as well. Just type in course 50 uh, when you check out and that's going to get you 50% off. So not only do you get 50% off the course, but you get the ebook for free. Check it out if you're interested. Um, and so let's go back to the, uh, let me see, where was I here? Let's go back to the members area. And so that'll just show up in your members area here. Like I have it, like, you know, I've, I've got all the stuff in my members area. Obviously what you've purchased will show up there as well. But if you just click here on the ebook, download it, uh, show you a couple things. So there's just all kinds, just a full guide. The way that I envision this is just being able to print it off set it on your desk while you're trading and be able to refer back to it for anything that you can possibly think of. So like if you're trading an iron condor, for example, you can, you can go to the iron condor page and boom, there it is. It's, it's a neutral strategy. You want to do it with implied volatility is high 30 to 60 days to expirations. When you enter looking for a profit target of 30 to 50% of max profit downsides defined upsides defined initial probability of profit 60%. Obviously, you know, as we manage these, we'll, we actually win on these about 80, 85% of the time. Uh, shows, you the, shows you the delta to sell for the short put and the long put. Uh, you can do it in an IRA, time decay or theta positively impacts this position. So just, just a quick snapshot guide to help you with your trading. So hope you like it. Any feedback you have is always much appreciated as well. So back to the alerts. Let's check that out. Oh, one, one more thing. Uh, we also have the newest course, Winning Option Strategies for Any Market, which is all about directional trading. So again, if you're in the premium, if you're in the member section, premium upgrades, just go to um, scroll down to Winning Option Strategies for Any Market, enroll now. Oh, and for some reason it's down, so can't show that right now. Uh, we'll make sure that's up and going. But um, all right, so let's jump into the alerts for the week. Had some good trades, took off some winners. First trade we made was an opening trade in GLD. IV percentile continues to stay low in GLD. And in fact, today we actually, on Friday, we actually added another calendar. So if we go to the platform and take a look at GLD, you can see Applied volatility very low, IV percentiles at 12, which has actually popped up a little bit today. It was, it was much lower earlier. Uh, and we've got a double calendar on now. So we've got the 117 put calendar and we've got the 119 call calendar. So that's what it looks like. Got a nice wide range for this to move around in, looking for a spike in implied volatility to help benefit that position. Next trade was in XRT. And that was a closing trade. So we closed that strangle out, booked almost 40% of max profit in about 11 days uh, and implied volatility dropped to 23. So we take a look at XRT. You can see we, we got in when implied volatility is nice and high and then boom, the bottom fell out and gave us that nice contraction and the ability to, to book a quick profit in 11 days in XRT. So good trade there. 
Next trade was a, uh, a rolling trade in DIA. So we had that vertical, it was originally an iron condor. We, uh, we let go of the put side because it breached our, our upside break even. We were still holding that, that call vertical. And the reason we, we rolled this is because we wanted to keep that short delta in our portfolio. And so we, we rolled it and we also needed to change the strikes to make it make sense. So, and, and I mentioned, typically we like to collect a credit when we roll like this. However, it made sense to roll this position to keep that short delta in our portfolio so we're not getting too, too overweighted to the upside. And we want to, and, and having that short bias for that protection that we always talk about. So if we take a look at DIA, market's down a little bit today, finally getting a little bit of a down tick. Uh, but we, uh, so we're in the profit there, but again, we're holding this for the, for the short delta that it provides and a little bit of a protection in our portfolio. So we'll look to take this off, you know, if it, if it gets to 50 plus percent of, the, of that max profit. Next trade was a, another rolling trade in kind of a similar situation. We had on an a, a ES or an S&P futures vertical as well, a long put vertical, and we rolled that from, uh, from July. And instead of rolling it to August with only 28 days to expiration, we rolled it all the way to September because there's 58 days to expiration. And staying in that kind of 30 to 60 days is, is what I was looking for. And again, this is, this is to help keep some of that short delta, that short bias in our portfolio. Now, I, I know the market has been incredibly strong and holding this short delta is, is a little bit of a lag on our portfolio, but trust me, you wanna keep that on when you're selling premium for that protection because that velocity to the downside is much quicker than, than, than the way the market goes up, okay? Uh, opening trade in the QQQs. So applied volatility popped back up in the Qs. So we sold a strangle here. You can see implied volatility is right at the 50 level. I think it was like at 54, something like 50, uh, 53 when we put it on. And so we're, we're still very centered, no profit or loss at this point. So we'll continue to watch the Qs. Next trade in GLD, I already mentioned that. That's where we added that second call calendar so that we have a double calendar on. And lastly today, we had a closing trade in CL, in the oil futures. Uh, so we, we booked over 30% of max profit in just 10 days. IV contracted down to the, IV percentile contracted down to the 20 level. So if we look at CL at oil, uh, you can see, you know, implied volatility is, is much lower than it was. And we got a nice move down today, back into our center. And we're able to book that, book that for a nice quick profit. So let's take a look at some of the, well, first let's look at the other current positions we've got on. So I mentioned the ES. So we've got this short delta uh, vertical on in ES. And if it ever populates on the screen, there it is. So again, just looking for, for a little bit of a down move to help help benefit that position. In corn, corn's coming back down for us, so back into our range. So we, no adjustments needed yet at this point, so we'll continue to wait. Look for a little bit more of a down move in corn to get out of that. Soybeans, we need a little bit of a move up. And as, mo as correlated as these grains are, I, I like having this where we need an up move in soybeans to benefit and a down move in corn adds a little bit more diversification to the portfolio. And then we, all, we also still have a position on in wheat, which I actually was trying to get filled in this today, but then, uh, but then it went, profit went back down a little bit as it's fluctuating. So I wasn't able to get filled, but we wanna, we're looking for about 40% of max profit in this. So about 200 bucks is what we're looking for out of our wheat position. DIA, I already mentioned. GLD, I already mentioned. Q's, I already mentioned. RUT, RUT, Russell's 2000 Index. We still have this calendar spread on. Looking for a little bit of a down move and an expansion in IV to benefit there. And SPY, and I feel like we've had this iron condor on forever, but it's just been hanging out around our upside. Need to move down and, and uh, we'll be able to get out of that SPY position. And XOP, we had a we have a straddle on, and price was real close. I think it even 
even breached our break even by a little bit, but I wanted to give it a little, another day or so, and it ripped back lower, which is good. So didn't need to make an adjustment. Remember, we only wanna make adjustments when absolutely necessary, and didn't need to in this case, so XOP coming back down in uh, conjunction with oil. So just a little bit more down, a little down a little bit further, and we'll be able to book a profit in XOP. If it does turn back around and, and turn higher, we'll look to potentially adjust outside of that break-even point. So lastly, let's go to the closed trades and take a look. I mean, July's been awesome. Of course, we've had a couple rolls uh, that, that uh, you know, we, because it made sense to roll them. But as far as the trades that we've closed out, all winners in July, I uh, haven't had to take any losers, which is awesome. We had a Microsoft Strangle, Costco Butterfly, Target Straddle, Oil Strangle, Rut Calendar, XLE Puts, Q Strangle, XRT Strangle, Oil Strangle. I mean, this is, this is a perfect example of putting on different strategies, booking them at a percentage of max profit, and redeploying that capital into new trades. So having a great month. Hope everybody hope everybody's trading is going really well. And if you have any questions, obviously let us know. Have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.